W Research, guys. All right, Andrew Tate, Romanian teens, explain how he approached them on social media. Uh, let's read over this. Let's do a little bit of digging. Daria Gross was 16 and still at school when she was when she says she received a private message on Instagram from Andrew Tate, a high-profile influencer, almost 20 year old, 20 years older than her. It's just red Romanian girl, and he put some flirty emoji. Daria told me I was confused because I only had 200 followers and it was a private account. Okay, so it was a private account. So there's no way he would have known what your age is. So he literally just hit you up, said Romanian girl question mark. She is one she is one of the two teenagers who have described to their BBC how Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan approached them online apparently using a standard formula. It was obvious we were high school girls, Daria said. So you uh, they they make using a standard formula like such a bad thing, bro. Like every guy has a certain method in which he approaches hitting up girls. All right. Any guy that's successful with successful with women have experience. So they have a certain approach that they will do. All right. Uh, it was obvious we were high school girls, Daria said. We had our high school in our bio and everything. I think we were just trying to find girls who were as innocent as or naive as possible, in my opinion. I mean, maybe he was looking for wifey types. I, I don't know. Personally, from looking at her account, I, I wouldn't have known that she's from high school. It doesn't say high school plainly. It says like 25, all these other things. I guess that's what people do, but I, I don't really even, I don't even know that, to be honest. I, I don't even know that. Like AVIS 20 dash 20, I, I don't know that. Uh, and this is the only message they have. Daria, who's now at the university in the UK, is the daughter of the prominent Romanian politician. She feels able to speak out publicly when others have refused to go on the record. The Tate brothers are currently in 30-day custody in Romania while police investigate allegations of rape and trafficking, which both men deny. So this girl tried to come out and basically be like, oh, yeah, 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 like, like, look, they definitely are human traffickers. They were trying to get me. They were trying to get you, yes, with one message. Yes. They were trying to get you. Great. All right. In my experience, what raises intrigue inspires them to respond. I ask where they are. He says in the recording, sometimes for intrigue, I'll completely pointless emojis at the end, some cherries or orange or strawberry. Yeah, to get their attention, that's fine. That's None of that is illegal. Since sharing her experiences, Daria says many young men have accused her of lying. I mean, I don't see why she would be lying. I'm not going to lie. I don't see why she would be lying. But she's coming out trying to essentially... She thinks she's doing something that's like very heroic. Like, oh yeah, no, no, no. He's definitely trying to get me. So I guess I, I can have empathy and I understand empathy. her point of view. But it doesn't make him guilty. Like, Let's be honest. It does not make him guilty. Uh, just Poker Trap says, Just so you know, in the UK, 16 is the legal age to have sex. Yes, in the UK, and I did look that up. But not in Romania. In Romania, it's 18. So, and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Romanian girl. Um, this is the this is this is a big problem. She told me because we can't wake up in 20 years with two million Andrew Tates. Why not? So, is she a feminist? And she's just truly. Do you have like a narrative as well? Do you have a certain agenda? In uh, publicly for his online courses in manipulating and exploiting women andrew tate says i've been running a webcam studio for over a decade over 50 percent of my employees were actually my girlfriend at the time of all my girlfriends none were in the adult entertainment industry before they met me he describes his job is to meet girls go on a few days it sounds like a, this sounds like a normal business bro all right go look at pornhub these are all the same standards in this industry he describes his job as to meet girls on a few dates, sleep with her, get her to fall in love with me to where she'd do anything I say. The publicity continues and then go on her webcam so he so we would become so we would become rich together. He has previously said that he would never date a woman over 25. Gabriella, not her real name, was 17 when she was contacted on social media by Andrew Tate's brother Tristan. Though she later pretended she was 19. So she is openly admitting that Tristan Tate has sent her messages and she lied about her age. But nobody covers that, right? No, at least they, at least they have the balls to put on the article. Thank God they do. 
though she later pretended she was 19, even though she was 17. So how is that his fault if she's lying? She at like at this I guess at this point guys, you know what you're supposed to do? You know what you're supposed to do? You're at every time you you DM a girl, you Instagram a girl, all right? And even though you're trying to be really really cool, really sly about it, you're not trying to be pretentious, you have to make sure that you always start off with how old are you? I don't want this message to be used against me someday in the court of law as human trafficking or grape alley or anything like that. All right, if the matrix ever decides to come at me, all right? I need to know your age and I need you to take a picture with your ID, your state official ID right next to your face. Then I'll know I can continue to talk to you. If not, it's done. It's done. All right. That like, is that the certain measures? Is that what we have to do now as guys to sit here and prevent articles like this being written? Uh, she asked that she, uh, let me see. She's asked that we call her Gabriella to disguise her identity. Yes, because she can't be held accountable for her lies, right? <laughs> Lying that she was 19. She showed me his initial message, which read, you are beautiful. And that was it. I knew he was using the same approach with other girls. She said, he always starts the conversation with the same exact line. You are beautiful. Like I said, mass spamming women. All right. So again, agreeing with what I'm saying, Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, any guy who knows how to get girls, you know what you do? You go on Instagram, you have a good profile, and you just mass spam a bunch of women. You don't sit there looking at their profile for 30 minutes a day trying to come up with something clever. You just send it. And if you get a response, you get a response, and you go on from there. All right. At the end of the day, at some point in the conversation, when she feels comfortable enough, you can ask her for her age, and then that's it. ASAP Rocky. Obviously, Tritz and Tate did that same exact move and the girl decided to lie about her age. So now what do we sit here and do to counter counter that point? Like I said, the only thing you can do is make sure you send her a follow-up message saying, I don't believe you. Send me your state official ID <laughs> with your birth date on it and then your face next to it. I got to make sure it's legit. That's it. That's, that's the dumbest thing ever. I'm going to be honest. Literally every piece of evidence has been debunked. Pathetic matrix. Yeah, at this point, this is all they're doing. They're grasping for straws. It's sad. It's really sad. Gabriella said that friends of hers have received exactly the same opening messages from Tristan Tate. Like I said, mass spamming DMs. In this video online, Andrew Tate says the phrase, you are beautiful, isn't bad as an opening and goes to outline what he describes as a perfect example of a conversation. After establishing where the woman is, Mr. Tate advises men to ask, why do I never see you? Where are you hiding? All right, yes, from, from that PhD course. <laughs> Basically showing men how to DM women, all right? And their personal experience. They're using it like, oh, this is a, a how-to human traffic. Uh, this is exactly what appears to have happened in the exchange with Gabriella. Screenshots of what is is what is purported to be the conversation with Tristan Tate shows his next message is exactly Andrew describes feel I've seen around you town before somewhere is that possible where have you been hiding bro Andrew Tate didn't make this up man Andrew Tate didn't make this you never sit here and raise a girl up and you're just like you're just like yo did I see you before I think I know you from somewhere did you go to school with me like just to start just as an icebreaker obviously you're bullshit and she knows you're bullshit you're just trying to you're just trying to talk to her a little bit she gets comfortable like what are you trying to do? Are you trying to just essentially get all guys to be so scared of approaching any kind of girl? Like, how are guys supposed to sit here in a spit game? How are they supposed to learn? How, is, how are they supposed to understand if, they, if they're afraid to sit here and tell a woman, oh, you're beautiful? Like it's some sort of crazy conspir conspiratorial agenda to try to human traffic them, bro. Come on, man. That shit's stupid. That shit is so stupid. Uh... Fraud is fraud, cope harder. How am I, what am I saying, uh, way weary, what am I saying that I'm wrong about? Explain it to me. Please explain it to me. How am I wrong? How should a guy approach a girl? You know what, way weary, you're so experienced, how should a guy approach a girl through DMs? Explain that to me, bro. Let's go. That's what we're gonna do right now. I want you guys to explain to me, if you, if you, if you believe Tate is guilty, I want you to explain to me exactly how you approach a girl through the DMs go try your hardest 
he duped you all with his MLM marketing. Okay, his, his market is whatever. Marketing levels. I forgot the name. <laughs> MLM University scam. He duped all these women and trafficked them. His big crime is tax fraud. That one is going to end him. Okay. And I guess we'll just wait and see, bro. We'll wait and see. All right. MLM University scam. He's not under arrest for that. That's not illegal. He also didn't scam anybody. He didn't take anybody's money and promise anything in return. Uh, he's actually giving guys actual skills. He duped all these women into trafficking them. Those women have actually made money, millions of dollars. They were able to retire and leave. And we've covered these women that are coming out being um, exposed as victims. And they're saying, oh, I'm not even actually, I'm actually not even a victim. I'm actually really good friends with Tay. And Tay has actually said, hey, you can leave and you can come back whenever you want. No problem. No hard feelings. So yeah, dupe these women into trafficking them. Of course he is. And then big crime is tax fraud. That one's going to end him. I can't defend him on that, bro. Dude uses crypto. There's a lot of different stuff around there. I can't say what's legal or illegal there. I'm not, I'm not a lawyer when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, coldest, what's there to cope about? The woman got paid and they are complaining about it. Notice how Way Weary got so silent out of nowhere. I asked him, yo, how do you DM a girl through Instagram without making it look like human trafficking? Because that's what this entire article is trying to do. And the dude went silent. Notice that, guys. Really notice that. He has absolutely no idea how to DM a girl without looking like a human trafficker, according to the BBC. All right, let's, let's continue. Um, all right. There is nothing illegal in the Tate Brothers contacting girls of a 16 or 17 online or inviting them out. But the testimony of these young women, along with Andrew Tate's comments, only suggest a pre-planned method for initiating contact. Like I said, every single guy has a pre-planned method for DMing girls, bro. But now that's bad, bro. Now that's bad. The BBC has seen the screenshots that appear to support the claims made by these women. These messages appear to be sent from handles whose username matches that used by Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate before they were banned. However, the BBC was unable to independently verify their authenticity. Okay, so all these text messages haven't even been properly authenticated and they are being used essentially as a storm of evidence or to defame andrew tate himself and you're telling me there is no agenda and you and also way where he's telling me i'm coping so hard when the article is stating that these are not authenticated messages so where are they getting these messages from i'm over here saying there is an actual agenda to get this guy to look a bad like an actual human trafficker and they can't even authenticate the message that's proving their point. Again, critical thinking, bro. Critic just you just use your brain. Simple. Uh you really think the Romanian prosecutor would spend 9 months on nothing or it all just rises to a conspiracy? So why do you think I sit here and I'm looking at these articles? I'm looking at every piece of evidence that the prosecutors are putting out there as of now. Obviously, they're not going to release everything. And that's why I refrain from saying that Andrew Tate is completely 100% um, innocent. But I keep, I'll, say, I'll, I'll sit up and say 90% innocent because there is no evidence. Zero evidence, bro. The self-snitching shit? All right. That makes him look bad. It makes him look bad, but he didn't do anything illegal, especially the grape charge. You know, again, based off what we have right now, do I think the prosecutor spent nine months sitting here, you know, maybe being bought out? They're really trying to, you know, they don't agree with Andrew Tate's message. They want to get him out or, or maybe somebody paid them. I, I don't know. But apparently Romanian is very, very, very corrupt. Very, very corrupt. So it's very possible that if somebody wants you to be silenced, they will dig in your past to look for something to make you guilty. Andrew Tate has stated this in several interviews himself. All right, so the age of consent in Romania is 16 years old. Even so, it looks bad next to... Uh, even though... Even so, it looks bad to text a minor. I think we can all agree here, guys. Don't text a 16-year-old girl at all, especially if you're in the U.S. 
do not do it. I don't think it has to be said, but if it has to be said, I'll say it right now, all right? Do not contact a 16-year-old girl. Do not trade messages with her, especially if you know that they are 16. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. You will get in trouble. You will get in trouble, and it will be used against you. And honestly, you should get in trouble because there are actual predators out there that are knowingly, consciously texting 16-year-old girls with an agenda. That does exist. All right, but not in Andrew Tate's case, not in Tristan Tate's case. And not when women are openly lying about their age. You can't sit here and say that they are intentionally going after 16 year old girls. You can't make that statement. It's just false. It's a lie. Ugh. All right, okay, way weary, way weary. All right, you're gonna respond to everybody else. You're not gonna respond to my question, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, bro. There you go, bro. Like I said, Tell me how to contact, how to DM a girl without making it look like human trafficking, bro. Without making it look like there's some kind of agenda. Every time you hit a girl up, bro, especially if you like, if you think she look good, you got an agenda. You know what the agenda is? To stick this in that hole, bro. Keeping it 100. Keeping it 100 with you. God damn. All right. Uh, however, the BBC was unable to independently verify, so the BBC has put these allegations to the Tate brothers through their lawyers and asked for their response. Again, false allegations, re-grasping for straws very, very desperately. Social media updates have continued to appear on, on Tate's accounts. On Thursday, he wrote the five people had authorized to visit him in detention, including 27-year-old American influencer called Aiden Ross with millions of followers, who said he was flying to Romania on Thursday. Yeah, and he wasn't able to see it. So that's it. So again, this is all a fabrication piece. There's no evidence. There's nothing. They're just reaching for straws. They've admitted they're reaching for straws. They haven't even authenticated the messages. So, you know, what 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 more can we say? If DM, why would you DM hundreds of girls? Okay, great question, David Fraser. I'll definitely answer that right now. All right, why would you DM a hundred girls? I want you to look for a girl on your Instagram and I want you to DM her. And I want you to see how long it's gonna take her to respond. Odds are she's absolutely not gonna respond. She don't care about you, all right? She's got many other guys with blue check marks that she'll respond to, not you. So what do you have to do? What are you gonna have to do? You're gonna have to let that go and you're gonna have to go look for another girl. Now, are you gonna spend 30 minutes of your day or your a whole day messaging one girl that is 90% likely not to respond to you, or you can text 20, 40, 50, I don't know, however many girls Instagram allows you allows you to DM before, before you get like blocked or some shit. Mass spam girls every single day, 20, 30 girls, you'll probably get two, three messages back, maybe a response, okay? And then you go on from there. But you will increase the likelihood of getting a response back if you message more girls. That's it. It's simple logic. That's why guys mass spam or, or mass DM a bunch of different girls to increase the likelihood of actually getting a response from different, from a different kind of girl. That's it, bro. It's not that hard. It's very, very simple. It's very, very simple. Yo, what's going on? I just joined the live. Most guys mass DM because it's a numbers game. Yeah, exactly. And, and the truth is that's not, like, it's not just a numbers game, right? That's not going to get you actually late. You know what I'm saying? Like, you... But I, what, I, what I even said while I was reacting to the Andrew Tate PhD course in the video was you want to mass... You want to mass DM a bunch of girls. You want them to respond to you, and then you want to have a nice conversation. You want to hit the, you want to hit the voice, voice chats. You want to make them feel comfortable, make them, you know, hear the sound of your voice. You want to FaceTime them. You want to make sure you got a good energy, you got some chemistry going on, and then you take her on a date, bro. Because if not, then it's a waste of time. If you go on the date, you're kind of like gambling. It's kind of like 50-50, you know? Like, that. that's just my personal opinion. I don't know. That's just how you save your time. And you know that when you're on the date with the girl, she already likes you. So you don't even got to try that hard. I'm going to be honest. She's already on the date. So Tate quick doing the webcam business years before he converted, bro. Yeah, I know everybody keeps trying to say that he's doing the webcam business. He's not, bro. He's not. Um, let me see. All right. So now, now let's uh, react to a woman explains how Andrew Tate saved her. 
Again, every single one of these victims that keep coming out defending Andrew Tate, nobody wants to speak about them. So women have to actually make these videos and post them and you need places like Fessify, shout out to Fessify, to, so that people can actually see the truth.